gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami, and today's video is going to be a QA. and a I asked you guys pretty much on all of my platforms to ask me if you guys had any questions for me to answer. Um, just because I like doing these every once in a while so that if anyone's new or any fun in any of the platforms um, that I have is just curious about my life or whatnot, I will go ahead and answer those. Miss Ari is going to sit with us today. Um, Parker's in his underwear running around, so I didn't really, he didn't want to be in the video. Um, my husband is home though, like watching him. So I did ask on Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you're not following me there already, they're always down below. And I have like screenshots and stuff that I will go off on. Just let me go ahead and pull those up. Okay, um, so somebody asked if I got the COVID shot, and no, I haven't gotten the COVID shot. I don't know if we're going to get the COVID shot. I know my family, like my dad and my grandparents have, but we we haven't. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments if you guys got your COVID shot or not. Um, our question was, what is something you never told your parents? And I'm... I don't know, probably just activities that I did that I probably wasn't supposed to be doing as a teen. Um, something I wish I had told my mom more because she passed away was just that she did a good job. I feel like I was a shitty person at some times and, you know, said things I didn't mean and just hope that she knows that, you know, I didn't mean those things and that she was a good mom. Um something somebody asked is how is sex different now from one baby to two babies i am on three and it's difficult af um so honestly it's uh pretty difficult i know this might be tmi for whoever but i wanted you guys to ask me like actual questions um so honestly i'm gonna let her she wants to hold the phone real quick so hopefully she doesn't lock it but i mean obviously when you have no babies it's very easy to get alone time and whatnot with one baby yeah, so obviously with no having no kids, it's a lot easier to get alone time with your significant other. Having one baby, it was still difficult, especially, um, it's not like difficult, difficult because they're a baby, but like uh, Parker co-slept with us. Um, he just never wanted to sleep in his crib. So that was always difficult having him in the bed and whatnot. Um, but I mean, you can obviously put him down or whatever you have to do. Two kids now. She sometimes co sleeps and she sometimes sleeps in her bassinet. And then also sometimes Parker wants to come in and sleep in the bed as well. So that makes it even more difficult to get alone time. It's pretty hard. You just kind of, kind of figure it out. Um, and I don't know, hopefully my hum husband understands that you know, I don't always want to. And sometimes I'm tired um, when there might be an opportunity to, but uh, we try our best <laughs> to get that alone time. Um, let's see. Um, somebody asked how many times a day we do it, and we do not, uh, do it once a day. Sometimes it'll be multiple days without getting that alone time. Um, let's see. I gotta scroll. Um, somebody asked about, like, what made me gain a following. Um, so obviously I don't have that many subscribers on YouTube, but I am appreciative for what I get on the YouTube. Um, I have the most on TikTok and I honestly just got that from sharing my pregnancy experiences and just showing and doing the like, TikTok dances while being pregnant. Um, that how she scrolled. No, I gotta get back to it. Um, and then Instagram just kind of came from YouTube and TikTok and all of that. Um, but I definitely don't have the biggest following. How's mom life? So mom life is pretty good. Obviously there's days that I find very difficult to manage two kids. It's just, it, I know a lot of people are like, no, having two kids is easy. And that's just how, that wasn't my experience at first. It's still not my experience. I get, you know, used to as it, as it comes on, but there's days that I feel really bad that I'm not doing enough for Parker or haven't spent enough time cuddling her whatnot because she's a very like attentive baby she very much is clingy to her mama and that's the same way parker was um me also being clingy as a parent and that's just my parenting i don't really like hearing my baby cry and all that kind of stuff so it's hard to 
you know, combine having a older kid and a baby. <clears throat> My voice got all funky. Um, so somebody asked if it hurts to breastfeed and no, in my experience, it doesn't hurt to breastfeed besides like the first couple of days for me was, I think the only real time that it ever hurt was because I, you know, you, you just have your colostrum and you're getting your mature milk in and, um, they, both my babies cluster fed in the hospital. So that was something that, you know, kind of becomes painful when they're cluster feeding. Uh, and also when like Parker started getting teeth in and he, you know, bite my, my boob. I'm not looking forward to that with her, but as far as like regular breastfeeding every day throughout the day, it doesn't really hurt me. Um, how long did you wait to have sex after each baby? So, um, for Parker, we did wait the six weeks, um, that the doctor recommends that you wait um, before you know you go in for your checkup and all whatnot. For Ari, we Ari so that weird. For Ari, we did not. I think we tried it three weeks, and I wasn't comfortable, and it was, you know, not it for me. Um, I think we tried a week or so later, and it was still a little uncomfortable. So I, for me personally, I would just wait the six weeks. I know other people who have not had a problem with it doing it beforehand, but for me. And I, my dad watches these videos and other family, so I'm sorry. Okay, so a lot of people are asking about any more, if I want any more children, any more babies, all that kind of stuff. And I honestly do not think so. I think two is good for me. I have one of each. I feel like that's honestly pretty perfect for us. Sorry, I itched my collarbone, so now I gotta work. Um, but I don't see us having any more kids. I'm taking a birth control. I'm taking the mini pill currently. Um, cause I'm breastfeeding all of the time and then once she turns a year old, I'm gonna try to still breastfeed, but I will switch over to like the regular, the regular pill. Um, what would Ari's name be if she was a boy? We didn't have any boy names picked out, um, because I got the, the blood test, I can't remember, like 12 weeks or something. So we found out a lot earlier with her than Parker cause I didn't get the blood test with Parker. Um. So we didn't even think about any boy or girl names, but I mean, as soon as we found out it was a girl, we decided on Ari. And then the only like issue was deciding a middle name, which was either going to be Rose or Ray. And we decided on Ray. And then Parker's uh, name, we didn't have any girl names picked out either. My husband wanted to originally name him, uh, I think it was Triton. And I said no to that. Um... And one of the questions says, how long will you breastfeed? So I breastfed Parker for two years and hopefully I'll be able to do the same for her. That's what I plan to do. Um, you know, as long as I'm able to do it, <laughs> she's getting all distracted. Um, how are you and your family doing? We're doing good. There's adjustments, um, obviously, you know, with having multiple kids and just taking them out places and all of that. Um, do Parker and Ari like to play together when you're not around them to see? Um, I mean, I'm always watching them. They're never, like, alone together. Um, even, like, if I go to the bathroom. I mean, then maybe when I'm going to the bathroom, I guess. That's pretty much the only time that they might be alone together. Um, besides, I mean, the other times my husband's home. And he will be watching them. Sorry, my throat's doing a little weird, like stuff um they're never like alone i'm always you know watching them i don't want her to choke on any of his toys and all of that so i'm always watching them uh but he likes being a big brother as far as i can tell there's a there's a little bit of times where he you know you can tell i feel like he's jealous that he's not getting all the love um especially like when family members call like, my husband's grandma when she calls um to like facetime she uh will want to talk to Ari like not you know like baby talk and all of that and he'll be like no talk to me just talk to me don't talk to Ari um so stuff like that and then I feel like he wants to start sleeping in the bed because she is either co-sleeping or in the bassinet right beside the bed and I feel like he's jealous of that um but I mean otherwise he likes like spending time with her in the mornings he likes to lay beside her he likes he'll always get be like i want to hug her and he'll be like i love her and stuff like that so as far as i can tell he enjoys being a big brother but there definitely are some moments that you can tell that he's 
getting a little jealous of. Um, so I, let me see if I have any more questions. So somebody asked how old are my kids? So Ari is currently five months when I'm filming this and Parker will be four on August 3rd. So he's got like a little over a month before he turns four. See Ari, she's getting a little fussy. Um, and then just got diagnosed with gestational diabetes. Can you put up some meal ideas that you used? Um, I didn't really use any meal ideas. They gave me a list, which I'm sure they probably gave you as well. Um, just about how many carbs and whatnot you should try to be having a day. And I also got like an app tracker. Um, they didn't, I didn't find one that I, I liked personally for uh, like the diabetes stuff um i just found i think i just used like a regular i'll have to put the name of what i used i'm blinking um but one that you could like track carbs and it does calories and all that other stuff i didn't need the calorie stuff i just needed the carb stuff um and we obviously i ordered when we went out to eat i ordered a lot of things um with no bun so it was just like a lettuce wrap um, lettuce wrapped burger, um, instead of getting fries, I just wouldn't get the fries or I'd take a couple of my husband's fries or whatever it was. Um, I didn't really eat pasta anymore. I did try a couple of like the veggie pasta things, like the substitutes for that. I didn't really enjoy those. Um, I don't know. I just, I just made it work. I'll have to think of some more things and I will insert it right here for you, um, to help you out. But yeah, it, was kind of a pain, but obviously worth it, um, you know. Because I got this little girl, y'all, and she's a cutie pie. Yeah, she's a cutie pie. Um, okay, so I look a little rough, but there are a few other questions that I forgot to answer um, that I had marked that I wanted to answer. One of them was, when was your first kiss? And if I do believe it was in, like, elementary school, um, somebody asked if you didn't have kids um slash become mom what else would you have wanted to do um i was originally going to college to do something with video production so i'm not sure if i would have stuck with that or if i would have just tried to do something else um i have no idea at this point because being a mom is my entire existence um where did you get proposed to um so <laughs> my husband actually dropped the ring in front of me while he was like planning to do stuff um so that kind of just ruined everything um but he was i don't i honestly i can't remember where he was gonna do it at but uh it just kind of happened in the apartment then because i i he was being sneaky and stuff beforehand so i kind of knew something was up and then his clumsy ass um dropped it so <laughs> What did you keep or change in each kid's nursery? Um, well, they have two separate rooms, so it wasn't like it was the same nursery. Um, but we, it was, we did switch. Parker used to have that room, but then we switched him to the other room when he got bigger. Um, and that room was just kind of empty. <laughs> um, so we did, cause it was blue, cause Parker was in there for a little bit, but then we ended up painting it purple. And I mean, we used his old dresser that he had, um, like his one that um, he had for when he was a baby. We just painted it white. It was gray. And um, I mean, we got new carpet and stuff in all the rooms because we needed to. Um, we needed to get the floors redone after hurricanes and stuff. Um, and I don't, I'm, we didn't keep anything else. Um, <laughs> I guess a little Paw Patrol like storage thing, but that's in his, well, that's in her closet. Um, so you can't even see that, um, but everything else has changed. So yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you one in my next one. Bye.